Hey, what's up, guys? Ready for more action from 1949 for you. It's May 4th, 1949. We got the uh, Yankees at the St. Louis Browns. Carl Drews is going to be starting this game here for the Browns, um, who are 7-7. Seven and seven. Yankees are 10-4 and four and are in first place. And uh, there's a ball in there to Phil Rizzuto, 1-0 and the count. And there's a strike to him, 1-1 one one now. And uh, there's a ground ball over to uh, Riz- uh, to uh, Pellegrini, the uh, shortstop. Throws to first for the out, one away. Here's Tommy Henrik. Henrik up there, and he takes one under his chin, backs away, 1-0 the count. And there's one popped high up to left field, and it's Pellegrini who grabs that one, goes back a little bit for the second out. Here's Cliff Mapes who takes the ball. And uh, there's another one inside for ball two on Mapes. And uh, Drews gets him to pop up, and there is a pop-up over to Graham, the first baseman. We go to the bottom of the first inning, and here comes Jerry Pretty against Allie Reynolds. And uh, the Yankees don't have many pitchers, which is going to potentially be their downfall here. Uh, one and one now the uh, count on Pretty. And he launches one deep to left field, and that's a double for Pretty um, as that one's over the head of Woodling, hits off the wall. And uh, up comes Bob Dillinger, the number two hitter, hitting 311 this season and uh, has how many? Five RBI so far. And he gets a base hit up there up the middle um, right off the uh, first pitch. Mapes has it. We're going to send Pretty home. And Mapes doesn't risk the risk the throw at all, and that means that uh, the uh, Browns have a one nothing lead here early in this one. And... Uh, I mean, this isn't exactly the greatest Browns team in the world, but um, they've been hitting off of Valley Reynolds. I was about to say that one of the problems that the Yankees have is that they just don't have a whole lot of uh, pitching. And um, as in, they don't have a lot of pitchers like on the team. And so, uh, you know, we're running into this problem where the pitchers we're uh, pitching all are uh, coming in on what, like, uh, probably three, four days rest or something like that, you know, and uh, there's not a whole lot of other choices that you have. Um, so we'll see how this one works. One on one now the count on Jack Graham uh, with a runner on first base, still injured, not going anywhere. And there is a uh, high drive over the right field, and uh, Hank Bowers there battles with the sun and finally makes a lunging backhand catch. And, man, I tell you, that's a real adventure out there for the first out. And that also does not necessarily bode all that well for the Yankees um, here in this one. Um, and uh, let's uh, see what happens as we move forward. But... Uh, that's not a good sign. Um, Les Moss up there now takes the ball. One and the count on Moss. There's one hit over to right field, and that falls in front of Bauer for a base hit. We are not going to try for third, not with only a one out. That brings up Whitey Platt hitting 300 here for St. Louis, and these Brownies are uh, pretty good at hitting. There's a strike in there to Platt, and another strike as he chases that one. Oh, and two the count, and that's a ball one and two now. And uh, there's ball two to him, two and two the count. And that one misses a breaking ball. Full count now on Platt, and uh, he's popped up over to the... Uh, uh, what the third base line, and that ends up dropping in there for a base hit. So there was a little pop up over there, and Woodling, uh, Brown, Rizzuto all going for it, and Woodling in the end ends up trying to grab it, and it falls down in front of him for a hit, and that's another uh, pretty poor play and a ball that really probably should have been a pop up. It really probably should have been Bobby Brown going back and grabbing that one. And um, again, I've really got to wonder what's going on here with uh, the Yankees. Uh, this is not how I was expecting this game to go early on. Um, so uh, here in the uh, bottom of the first for the Browns, not only do they have a run already in, but they've got the bases loaded again, still with a one out. And, um, uh, you know, anything can happen, of course, at this point. Um, and, uh, I mean, we'll see what happens. But um, uh, Roy Seavers here can really uh, blow this game up, hitting 224 so far, Roy, which is why he's hitting six. Takes a ball, 1-0 the count. And there's another ball inside, 2-0. and And he chases one outside, 2-1 and now. And swings and misses of that one. Two and two is the count. And there's a little pop-up behind the plate. Barrett can't get to it. Two and two still. That one's a foot outside, full count. Will Reynolds lose him? And he takes one low and away. And Reynolds does walk in the run. And it's a 2 nothing lead now for the Browns. And here comes Eddie Pellegrini. And, uh, I mean, as, like I was just saying, this is um, very, very worrisome if you're a Yankee fan because there's not a whole lot of pitchers there um, to uh, fill in for Ellie Reynolds. And... Um, you don't want to get too far behind in this one because this could be a very, very long afternoon. Pellegrini cuts up there now. It takes one high, 1-0 one the count. And um, there's a strike as he hits the glove for that one, 1-1. One and, one, and there's strike two tight in there, 1-2. and two. A little ground ball over to Phil Rizzuto. Flips over to uh, Coleman for one, and the throw goes on to Henrik at first for the double play. And the Yankees get out of it, but not before they give up two runs. We go to the top of the second inning, 2 nothing Browns. Gene Woodling up there now takes a ball and another ball, two and no now the count. And there's ball three inside. Carl Drew's starting to fall apart a little bit there. And there's ball four to Gene Woodling. Here comes Jerry Coleman. And uh, there's a strike in there to Coleman. So Drew's giving up his first walk of the game. Coleman with a one and one count on him now with Woodling on first base. And there's a little pop up over to right field. Cocos has it for the first out. And uh, here comes Hank Bauer with one out. Runner on first. And there's a ball low and inside to him and a strike. One and one the count on Bauer. 
There's a little pop-up over to the left side, and it's actually Moss who runs over there to grab that one in the infield. Two out, and here is Yogi Berra, hitting only 217 this season. And as soon as I say that, he hits a line drive that's way out to right center field and gone over the fence. And this is a tie ball game. And uh, Berra shows us that you can't count the Yankees out no matter how um, far down and out they might seem for the second for the time being. Um, so 2-2 two and two, two, two now is the score after Berra gets the first hit of the game for the Yankees, which just so happens to be a... Um, a large and long home run off of Carl Drews, and here comes Bobby Brown hitting 170, and there's a ball to him. 1-0 the count. There's a strike, and it's 1-1. Uh, and there's a ground ball over to third base. Dillinger has it, throws the first for the out, and we'll go to the bottom of the second inning. Here comes Dick Kokos. Takes a, a strike for the first pitch and swings and misses the second one. Oh, and two the count. There's a breaking ball for strike three, and that sends him down. One away, and here's Carl Drews, who takes a ball. There's a little ground ball over to Phil Rizzuto. Throws over to first for the out. Two away, and here's Jerry Pretty again, who had that double the first inning. Takes a strike. There's another fastball in there for a strike. Oh, and two the count, and that's cut on and missed. And boy, Pretty looked really bad swinging at that one. And we go to the top of the third. Here is Allie Reynolds. And uh, Drews misses the uh, target for a ball, and it's in their first strike. One and one the count now, and there's a foul ball. It's one and two. And uh, there's a little ground ball over to Pellegrini, and he throws over to first for the out, one away. Here is Phil Rizzuto, with, who takes a ball. And there's one hit over to left center field, and Rizzuto decides to uh, test uh, Platt, uh, who's not a very good fielder, and he's able to make it into second base with a double. And uh, uh, this double that was sort of stretched out, and that brings up Tommy Henrik. Uh, who takes a uh, ball and another ball, 2-0 and oh, the count now in Henrik. And there's a fastball that misses. Ball 3-3-0 three, three and oh, the count. And uh, Drew is able to hit the corner there. 3-1 and one now is the count. And there's a base hit to center field, and that one will score Phil Rizzuto, who can fly. And uh, it's a 3-1 to one Yankee lead now, just like that. So, so much for all that talk in the first inning about how the uh, Browns are doing really well and how the offense is going to take over and all this stuff because it's the Yankees' offense has finally woken up here. Three to two so far, um, Yankees here in the uh, top of the third inning, and that'll bring up Cliff Mapes. Uh, Cliff Mapes uh, hitting 309 this season, and he hits one deep to a left center field, and it's uh, Platt who goes back and grabs that one for the second out. Here comes Gene Woodling. Woodling takes one high and inside for a ball. And there's a strike on him, one and one. Woodling walks his first time up in the uh, top of the second and then was driven home by Bear's home run. One and two, the count now. Still one and two as that one's fouled away. There's a uh, ball inside, two and two is the count. There's a little foul ball back into the netting, still two and two, and there's another one fouled back. And there's one hit into the hole uh, on the right side and through for a base hit, and that sends Tommy Henrik over to third. That brings up Jerry Coleman now with runners on the corners and two outs here at the top of the third inning, and he takes a ball. And there's one foul back, one and one the count now. And uh, there's a foul ball again, one and two, now the count on Coleman. That one's fouled back again, still one and two, and uh, he swings and misses to that one. That was strike three anyway, and we go to the bottom of the third inning. Three to two Yankees now, and here's Bob Dillinger. And uh, there's a ball to Dillinger, one and no the count. And that one is uh, fouled off just barely, one and one, two and one now after that ball. There's a ground ball over to Jerry Coleman, the sh- second baseman, throws to first for the out, one away, and here's Jack Graham, who uh, takes a uh, slider wide for a ball and one high and inside, two and no the count now, and Graham. Fouls one off to the right side, and it's two and one, and he swings and misses that one. Two and two, the count now. Still two and two, as that's fouled back again. This one's lined deep to right field, but not quite deep enough. Bauer able to go back there and get it for the out. Two away, and here's Les Moss. And uh, there's a strike in there to Moss, and he pow- he pops one up over um, to the uh, third base side, and uh, it's foul, and it's fortunate for the Browns that it's foul because nobody's able to uh, make the play at all, and that's another awful play. I've been telling you this. We've had a whole, a whole slew of these awful plays in games recently, and uh, my collection of these uh, awful play-by-play accounts is growing and growing and growing. I'm going to have to do another post pretty soon to uh, clean it out. There's a ground ball over to Jerry Coleman. Throws to first for the out. We go to the top of the fourth inning. And here is Hank Bauer. And there's a strike in there to Bauer. And there's a little pop fly over to left field. And Platt has it for the out. One away. And that brings up Yogi Berra with the home run in the second inning. That's the big difference in this game. One and one the count now on Berra. And there's a ground ball over uh, foul. One and two. That's inside. Two and two the count now. And 2-2 two and two it remains as Barra fouls one back, and he takes one wide, and it's a full count. 
and that's inside on him. The count remains full, and there's one lined over to right field, and that's a base hit for Bear, who's due for two today. That brings a Bobby Brown one out and a runner on first base, and uh, there is a, uh, a hit that's a comebacker that uh, hits off of Drew's glove and goes all the way into center field. Bear holds the second base, and that's a, a little infield single there for Bobby Brown, and uh, now that brings up Allie Reynolds um, with runners on first and second. And uh, Reynolds, of course, bunts, and he bunts that one straight back to the pitcher, throws over to first for the out, and the runners move up. Uh, runners on second and third now with uh, two away here. Phil Rizzuto up there, three to two Yankees. And uh, one and one is the count on Phil. Two and one now as that one misses. And there's a ball high. Three and one is the count, and there's a ground ball over to third base. Dillinger able to stop it, but not able to make much of a play on that one. And uh, that uh, ends up being run number four for the Yankees. And I see here that I am going to have to take a pause, I believe, for a second because um, I've got uh, visitors coming over here ready to uh, help paint our shutters. Thank you to our HOA. So I will be right back. All right, we're back, everybody. I mean, it didn't take much time for you. It took a little bit of time for me. Yeah, we have, because of our HOA, we got to get our shutters and door painted. So uh, apparently everyone else in the neighborhood has to do the same thing too. So where we left off in this story, Phil Rizzuto just hit a base hit um, uh, that scored uh, Yogi Berra with the uh, fourth Yankee run. That brings up Tommy Henrik, and now I've got to start wondering about Carl Drews and uh, how long he's going to stay here. There's a strike in there to Henrik. And he hits a little fly ball behind first base. And it's uh, Jerry Coleman, or I'm sorry, Jerry Coleman. It's uh, a pretty who goes back and grabs that. Sorry about that. As soon as the uh, 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 screen changed, um, I was looking to see who the uh, second baseman was, and um, it uh, changed up on me. There you go. Go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Here's Whitey Platt takes a strike, and then a ball one and one, the count now on him. And uh, there's a ball to him again. Uh, it's uh, two and one. And uh, now there's a little ground ball over to Henrik at first base, and he flips over to Reynolds for the first out. That brings up Roy Seavers. And there's a uh, big brink ball that bounces in the dirt and a big hanging curveball, 2-0 to no, no, the count on uh, receivers. Slider in the dirt, and the count is 3-0. and oh. And there's one hit hard on the third base line, and um, that's going to be a double. And uh, there's a little bit of uh, beef. So uh, Seavers thought that one was foul, and Brown thought that one was foul. Everybody thought that was foul, but Seavers winds up on uh, second base with a, a double in the end. And uh, that's one that you definitely don't see every day, where uh, both the batter and the uh, third baseman thought that one was foul, but he winds up getting a double out of it anyway. Kind of makes you wonder what could have happened if he'd actually been trying to run on that. Um, so a little bit of a rare play here in the uh, bottom of the fourth inning. And... Um, it's always fun, these uh, sort of play-by-play -play induced rare plays where you can kind of see it in your mind, and it's a good thing we had him swinging 3-0. and And uh, Pellegrini comes up, and he uh, promptly fouls out to Barra, two away, and here's Dick uh, Kokos. And they're going to walk him intentionally and pitch instead to Carl Drews, who's zero for everything, and was zero for everything in the regular season. He takes a ball and then swings and misses at uh, strike, 1-1. One one. There's ball two to him, 2-1 two and one now the count. There's one away, and it's a 2-2 two -two count now. And there is a curveball wide. I normally would tell him to take this, but I can't because he's got two strikes on him. And uh, he barely gets a hold of that one to stay alive. Full count still. And uh, he takes strike three, and that's it. And uh, we go to the top of the fifth inning, and here comes Cliff Mapes. Four to two Yankees. Cliff Mapes up there takes a the ball. Mapes hitting 304 this season. That average is falling as uh, he's in a little bit of a slump. Takes the third ball now. Three no the count on him. There's a strike to him. Three and one now is the count. And there is one inside for ball four. And Mapes is the runner on first base. Here comes Gene Woodling. Woodling up there looks to bunt and pulls his back, his bat back. One and oh the count. That was one and one as that one was uh, fouled off. And there's another one fouled away. One and two the count now on Woodling. And there's one hit over to center field. Seavers there for the out one away. And here's Jerry Coleman. And uh, there's a uh, swing and a miss by Coleman, and Mapes was running on that one, ends up stealing second base, and so Mapes now is the runner on at second. One and one, the count now to Coleman as that one was inside, backs him off the plate. And there's a foul ball, one and two now the count, and there's a little uh, fly ball over to left field that ends up falling in front of uh, Platt, who's a pretty poor fielder, and uh, Mapes is going for home. Here's the throw home, and that's a bad throw, and that sends Coleman over to third base, and his uh, hitting streak continues to 13 games now. And uh, that brings up Hank Bauer with a runner on third base, only one out. And there's a little ground ball towards second base, and we're going to throw out the uh, batter, Bauer. Coleman scores with the sixth run for the Yankees, and it's a four-run lead. And here's Yogi Berra, who takes the ball, 1-0 the count. Berra, 2-for-2 two two today, and there's a strike to him, 1-1. One one. Hits one deep to right field, but Coco is able to go back and get that one, and uh, we go to the bottom of the fifth. Jerry Pretty now takes a uh, ball. Here's another ball, 2-0 oh, the count now on Pretty, and there's a strike in there to him, 2-1. Two and that one jams him two and two is the count now on pretty. And he fouls another one back, still two and two. And there's strike three. 
And uh, now here comes Bob Dillinger. A pretty yelling at Reynolds after striking out. Not sure what about. One and one now the count on Dillinger. There's a ball to him. Two and one is the count. Three and one now as the slider's low. And there's a fly ball, a little laser one over to Mapes in center field for the second out. That brings up Jack Graham. And he lines that one to center field. That one falls in front of Mapes for a base hit. And so that'll bring up Les Moss, who's hitting in the fourth position, hitting 325. Um, and there's a little ground ball over to Brown, who goes over to second with it. Coleman makes the uh, uh, force play on the bag. We go to the top of the sixth, and here is Bobby Brown. And he takes a ball low, 1-0 and the count. And there's a little ground ball over to Pretty, who throws the first one away. And here's Allie Reynolds. And he fouls one off. And there's a called strike right down the middle, 0-2 and the count. And uh, he hits one straight over to Cocos in right field for the second out. Here's Phil Rizzuto. Tries to bunt, and uh, that one goes foul. And that one's low and off the plane. 1-1 one one now the count on Phil. And there's one wide, 2-1 and one is the count. That's off the outside edge, 2-2 two and two now. And there's a little ground ball over to second base. Pretty throws over to first for the out. We go to the bob in the sixth inning, and here is Whitey Platt. Whitey Platt, who's somewhat poor fielding, hasn't helped St. Louis so far in this one. Takes two straight balls and then a uh, strike on the outside edge. Two and one the count now. There's one hit over to the right side. Reynolds um, goes off the mound, grabs that one, throws over to Henry, covering first for the out, one away. Here's Roy Severs, who takes one high for a ball, one and oh. And uh, hits uh, that one straight over to center field that falls in front of Mapes for a base hit. Severs now the runner on first base, and here's Eddie Pellegrini again. Uh, and there's a ball to Eddie, one and zero the count, and a big breaking ball there for a strike, one and one. That one's hit over to the left side, over to Rizzuto. Rizzuto flips over to Coleman for one on to uh, Henrik for the double play. We go to the top of the seventh inning. Here is Henrik, and he fouls one back. Oh and one is the count on Tommy, and that's a strike over the knees. Oh and two, and that one's hit hard down the left field line, and Whitey Platt runs over and grabs that one that time for the first out, and here's Cliff Mapes. There's a strike to Mapes. Mapes has scored a run, um, but is 0 for 2 today. As run was scored after he was walked, and that's one hit over to Pellegrini, and he throws the first for the out, two away. Here's Gene Woodling, and you might be able to hear my dog growling in the background, not sure why. 1-1 one one now the count on Woodling, and there's one lined over the head of Pellegrini, and it goes all the way to the wall as Platt plays that one poorly again. There's a double for Woodling, and that brings up Jerry Coleman. There's a strike in there to Coleman, and that one's low. 1-1 one one now the count on Coleman. And that one's fouled back. One and two is the count. And that one's fouled back again. Still one and two. And that one's hit over to Cocos in right field. And uh, we'll go to the bottom of the seventh inning. And Dick Cocos will start this inning off. Takes a fastball inside for a ball. One and one, one and oh, the count. Another ball to him. Two and oh. And that one's foul tipped into Barra's mid. Two and one now. And he swings and misses. Two and two. Cocos rips one way out and deep to right field. And that one's on the ball on the board for a home run. That makes this a 6-3 to three ball game, and here comes the pitcher spot, and uh, Carl Drews is going to be lifted out of this game, and I'm trying to think about what it is we want to do and who's hitting well. Sherm Lawler's the backup catcher. We're not going to pinch hit with him. I guess we could look at Zerilla, or we could look into uh, Laner, and uh, I think we're going to go with uh, Zerilla and see what he can do for us here. So we're going to take out Carl Drews. Here's Al Zerilla as the uh, pinch hitter takes a ball. And uh, fouls one back, one and one now, and it's two and one as that one misses. There's one that's fouled over to the left side. Bobby Brown is under it for the first out. Here's Jerry Pretty. He takes a ball. Pretty one for three today with that big double. And uh, there's one under the hands, two and oh now, and it's two and one as he takes a strike. And there's a little tap over to first base. And uh, Henrik makes the play, grabs it. Reynolds running over, slips a little bit, but re, uh, re, uh, regains his footing and is able to tag the bag on time for the second out. And that brings us up uh, Bob Dillinger. And there is a breaking ball in there for a strike to Bob. Owen won the count. And there's one lined over to Coleman who knocks it down, throws over to first for the out, and that does it. Ah, yes, I remember the uh, St. Louis Browns with this huge bullpen full of people. Um, I probably should spend some time kind of going through this and figuring out who actually is on this team and who's not because there's no way they had a roster this big, right, at this point in time of the season. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can tell me. We're going with Bob Savage here for his first appearance, and there's a ball in there to Hank Bauer. Want to know the count? And a uh, strike call one-and-one one now on Bauer, and he chases one. High one and hits that over to Platt left field for the first out. Here's Yogi Berra. Berra takes a strike. Berra two for three today, having a good game. Oh, and two now the count on Berra. And fouls that one off. It's still 0-2. That one's fouled back and out of place. Count remains 0-2. Fouled away again. Still 0-2. And, and there's a ball to him. And it's 1-2 and now. And there's one lone outside. 2-2. Two and, two. and there's a palm ball that misses. Full count. And there's one that um, hangs up for Severs, the center fielders. He rushes in to grab that one for the second out. Here's Bobby Brown. 
Brown fouls one off at the plate. 0 and 1 is the count on Bobby and uh, takes a ball. 1 and 1 now. That one's fouled high to the left side and just out of play. 1 and 2 now. That fastball misses and it's uh, 2 and 2 and that's high, full count. And Brown goes the opposite way and uh, hits it over to Platt who makes the catch. And we go to the bottom of the eighth inning, still 6 to 3 Yankees. Jack Ram up there takes a ball and hits a bouncy ball that goes off of the glove of Henrik and past Coleman, who dove, but dove kind of the wrong way, and that's a base hit for Graham, who's two for four today. Brings up Les Moss, who's one for three. Moss with four home runs so far this season, hitting fairly well. Takes a ball inside, 1-0 and the count, and uh, there's a pitch very, very high, 2-0 and now, and he chases that fastball, 2-1 and is the count. That gets away from Barra, but Graham not going anywhere, not a great runner. 3-1 and the count, that's fouled back, full count now. And that's um, off the plate, and that's uh, that's walked, and uh, up comes Whitey Platt, who's the potential tying run. That's walk number three for Ali Reynolds today. Runners on first and second now with nobody out for Platt, and he takes a strike. There's a ball up and in. One and one the count now on Platt, and he swings and misses at that one. One and two. And, uh, boy, Platt uh, swings and misses at that uh, fastball for strike three, and that brings up Roy Severs now. Five strikeouts for Ali Reynolds. And there's a breaking ball in the dirt to a Seavers. One and know the count. That's popped foul. One and one. That's popped up, but foul again. It's one and two now. And uh, there's another foul ball. One and two. And uh, that one's fouled back again. One and two. That's high. Two and two now is the count. And there's one inside. It's a full count now on Seavers. And he draws the walk. So St. Louis is uh, uh, really, really getting uh, the uh, Yankees, uh, sort of getting the Yankees goat on this one. And... Um, uh, that was a close, close pitch, and Reynolds is starting to react a little bit, and um, uh, we'll see if that hurts Allie Reynolds or not. I can never tell if there's anything in the game that sort of, you know, we're uh, we're uh, um, that uh, we're alluding to. Like, does this mean that Reynolds is really starting to lose it? Right? Is his, uh, is, uh, is something about his temperament starting to get to him, or what? We'll see as we have um, uh, Pellegrini up there now with the bases loaded, only one away, and he swings and misses the first pitch, 0-1, and, and he hits a little, uh, he pulls a, an outside pitch through the hole and into left field for a base hit, and uh, we got to send these runners, we're going to send everybody's going to run around, and uh, there's a throw over to third base that uh, gets the uh, trailing runner, but two runs score on that one, and... Um, Let's uh, go through here. My apologies. I'm uh, sort of looking at what we can do here to uh, save this uh, play-by-play, and I think we're going to go ahead and uh, do a little two-parter here. This makes this game, of course, a lot more interesting. This is now a 6-5 to five game. Uh, so uh, I was definitely not expecting Pellegrini to uh, get a base hit, um, not with uh, his uh, average, which ho- hovers around 200, and uh, certainly not with um, Ali uh, Reynolds still pitching out there, but um, you never know what's going to happen in this game, do you? Um, that will cause a uh, pitching change as Joe Page comes into the game, and uh, Bill Johnson will now play third base for the Yankees. Um, and uh, there is uh, there we go. There is a runner still a second base or a third base rather for the uh, I'm sorry a first base for the uh, Browns. That's uh, Pellegrini as uh, Dick Cocos comes up there. Six to five is the score now, and um, there's a fastball outside. Cocos of course had that solo home run back in the seventh, and uh, the count now on him two and zero. Oh. And that one misses outside 3 0. Joe Page can't find the plate. And there's one in the inside corner 3 and 1. The count now. We're going to have him take this one. And there's a late call strike, but a strike anyway. 3 and 2 now. Coco strikes out swinging. And boy, he uh, he uh, couldn't quite uh, he couldn't quite punish uh, the uh, pitcher, Page, for falling behind. Up first was Johnson. Hit a little ground ball over to Pretty. Throws over to first for the out here at the top of the ninth. 6 to 5 Yankees. Now Phil Rizzuto in there takes a strike. Owen won the count on him. And there's a ball 1 and 1. That's high and away, two and one now the count on Phil. There's one high, and it's a 3-1 count. There's a little ground ball over to Pretty, who blocks it, stops it from going to the outfield, but cannot get Rizzuto at first. Hit number 10 for the Yankees, and here's Tommy Henrik, who uh, takes a ball and um, hits one over to right field with Rizzuto running. It's a fly ball. Cocos gets under it. Rizzuto has to go back to first. Now here's Cliff Mapes with uh, two outs and a uh, runner on first base. The count on him now 2-0 and oh on Mapes. No hits so far today. It's a little ground ball over to Dillinger on the left side, and that's in and out of his glove. Easy peasy. Throws over to first for the out. We go to the bottom of the ninth inning. And uh, this is the question of what do we do against the uh, left-handed hitter or left-handed pitcher who's up here. We're going to have John Sullivan be the pinch hitter here for our pitcher. 
Um, and this is somewhat cheating because we're kind of playing around with the uh, righty-lefty stuff, but we might as well. Sullivan, I don't know how many uh, at-bats he actually had in the season um, against uh, uh, left-handed uh, pitchers. He actually had 101, but 142 against righties. We can debate over whether that's significant or not. It's actually probably not that significant in terms of seeing whether this averaging as lefties is significant compared to what the normal platoon um, would be. One and two, the count on Sullivan is he takes a strike and uh, fouls one off. Still one and two, and there's a ball in there, two and two now the count. There's a sinker low, and he uh, works the count full, full count now. That's foul back. The count remains full, and there's one popped up, and it's still full. And uh, he fouls that one back, too. Still full count. And, uh, boy, Page got him with the fork ball. That's a big out. One away now, and here's Jerry Pretty, and uh, Page misses high. One to know the count. There's a ground ball over to Jerry Coleman for the second out, and that brings up Bob Dillinger um, with the last chance for St. Louis, and there's a ball to him off the plate, 1-0. And that one is a wild pitch, but, of course, it doesn't count as a wild pitch with nobody um, on base, and there's another ball, 3-0 the count. We're going to have Dillinger take. It looks at a strike, 3-1 the count. I have him take again. It's in the outside corner. It's a full count now, and uh, that one's fouled back, and that one is high. There's a walk to Dillinger here with two outs in the bottom of the ninth inning, and uh, Jack Graham has a chance to potentially win this game suddenly for St. Louis. Graham has two home runs so far and is hitting 317 this year. He is two for four in this game, and uh, that is definitely not what the Yankees wanted to see out of Joe Page. Um, walking Dillinger um, after struggling and battling again for yet another full count. There have been a lot of those in this game. So Jack Graham is up there now, two for four today, takes the ball, one to know the count. And uh, fouls one back, six to five Yankees, bottom of the ninth with two outs. And uh, one and one is the count now on Graham. And there are a bunch of throws to first. And here's the pitch. And he swung and missed at that one, one and two now. Still one and two is the count. And there's one's inside and misses two and two. That swung on a belt to deep to center field. Mapes goes back. He leaps up for that one. He makes an amazing catch on that. And that uh, will end the game. What a catch there by uh, Cliff Mapes in center field who prevented an extra base hit and potentially the tying run from scoring. And uh, that is the way that this one ends. After all the poor plays we had in this game, and especially the poor fielding out there by Whitey Platt in left field for St. Louis, Cliff Mapes ends up being the hero after a great defensive play. And um, it's too bad for the St. Louis Browns who came oh so close to uh, at least tying, if not winning this game. And your final score today is Yankees 6 and Browns 5 as the Browns comeback uh, falls just a little bit short um, thanks to the diving and or the jumping rather acrobatic uh, catch there in center field by uh, Cliff Mapes. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you tomorrow with another one. Bye.